Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Canelo's new excuse to duck David Benavidez. Look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Pauli Malinaji has come out and stated that Canelo Alvarez has a new excuse he'll use to avoid fighting David Benavidez. In that new excuse is David Benavidez versus Oleksandr Vostik fight. The fact that David Benavidez did not look like a killer, did not look like a monster, did not look like a beast. Pauli Malinaji is saying Canelo will use that as an excuse to not fight David Benavidez. To me, that makes no sense. That's the dumbest analysis I've ever heard because a guy, if he doesn't look like a beast, that means I'm going to duck him? It doesn't make any sense. I've never thought of that logic. It doesn't make sense. Pauli Malinaji also goes on to state, and I quote, I don't think he goes near David Benavidez. He'll actually maybe use this as the excuse in the opposite way. And he'll say he doesn't look good. He's lackluster. What do I need to fight this guy for? I'll fight a guy like John Ryder again. So this is what he's saying Canelo will say and will do going forward. Now, what's interesting with this is, yes, David Benavidez did not look like a monster, a beast, or a killer against Oleksandr Vostik. He won the fight. It was a clear win for David Benavidez. But he did not look like a monster. Now, here's the thing. This is why what Pauli Malignaggi says makes no sense. David Benavides didn't look like a monster when he beat Caleb Plant, a guy Canelo knocked out. You remember, Canelo knocked out Caleb Plant basically with one hand injured. He knocked him out. But David Benavides went to full 12 rounds with this guy, went to a decision with a guy that Canelo's already knocked out. So he did not look like a monster in that fight, and he was getting outboxed early in that fight as well. So the fact to say that Canelo will use this as some excuse, well, David Benavides has not looked like a monster against Caleb Plant. David Benavides also didn't look like a monster against a journeyman in which he got dropped earlier in his career as well against Ronald Gavril. So we've seen multiple times throughout David Benavides' career, this man has not looked like a monster, a beast, a killer, all the things that Pauli Malignaggi says he is. I mean, let's just be honest and unbiased. So the fact that you would say Canelo would use this as an excuse to duck, that makes no sense. But what's more interesting is Pauli Malignaggi is leaving out one key factor. How can Canelo be the one ducking David Benavidez when David Benavidez has an opportunity to push for the fight against Canelo right now? David Benavidez is actually, actually allowed to pick his mandatory position at 168 or 175. So David Benavidez can pursue the mandatory position for undisputed at 175 or he can pursue it at 168. And if he goes at 168 and pursues it at 168 for a Canelo fight, then you're forcing the fight. Then you're making it happen. Then you truly want the fight. And if he forces Canelo to get into negotiations to make the fight and Canelo drops his belt, runs away and refused to, to negotiate, then you can call it a duck. Then you could say he don't want to smoke. But you can't refuse to enforce your mandatory and say somebody's ducking you. It doesn't make any sense. Then why are you in the mandatory position? David Benavidez has an opportunity to let his nuts hang and show the whole world that he truly wants to fight Canelo Alvarez and he needs to enforce his mandatory.